This is a video to show you how to transfer your grades from Google Classroom into Infinite Campus. The first thing that you need to do is go to the Grades tab and click on it. As you can see, there are several grades in my gradebook. And what you can do is you can go to any of the titles. And when it's highlighted, just click on the title. And that will take you into the grading area. It's important to go here because you need to go to this cogwheel and not the cogwheel that was on the grade section. Okay, so click on the cogwheel. And you have some choices here. You can copy all of your grades to the Google Sheets. You can download all grades as a CSV file. Or you can download just these grades right here as a CSV. What I want to do is download all grades as CSV. A CSV file is just a spreadsheet and it will open either in Google Sheets or in Excel. So I'm going to click on this, download the spreadsheet right here, but download to the left hand corner. And that opens up Excel and shows all of my grades. Now one of the things that I like about this is that you can go through here and you can manually change the column length if you want, so you can see the titles. But you can also go over here to this corner where between the A and the 1, click on it, and that will select the entire spreadsheet. When you do that, you can go in between any of the columns, and when you have the icon that looks like it's splitting the columns in two, you can double click on that, and it will resize all of your columns to fit the length of the text in the columns. Now, I'm going to hide some of these because these are assignments that I've already input into the gradebook, and I'm going to start right back here to the ones I haven't done yet. So I'm just going to hide those. Now, if your assignments have grade due dates, then those due dates will show and they will keep your assignments in chronological order. Another thing that you need to look at is to make sure that everything is actually sorted by last name. In this case, we added a student towards the end of the class and she did not have all the assignments that were in the gradebook before the other students did. So she's at the end of my gradebook. So I need to move her in into an alphabetical position that makes sense for her last name, assuming that my infinite campus is sorted by the same last names. So I want to go right here and I want to add a row right above this first student because that's where she will fit in alphabetically. So now I'm going to take that row and I'm just going to select it by clicking on the, the row number and then move the entire row up and now my students are in alphabetical order. You need to double check to make sure that your hyphenated students are in alphabetical order the same way that they're listed in Infinite Campus as well. Now that you have them in alphabetical order, you're able to transfer these grades into Infinite Campus.